a nearsighted long view. A window of modular human height boxed in a deeply chiseled bevel looks upon the museum piazza. Peripherally visible, the lower section of an ionic column, the grooved shaft, flute, and fillet is marginalized by the stars and stripes. The banner yet wave. Time standing still, the flag points to an equestrian statue. A miniature at this scale, portraying a magnanimous son of the revolution. His sword held at the ready for battle in the battles for independence and entangled territories. Off at a distance, directly behind the Brigadier General, a rectangular residence houses those who are studious, those who are learning how to research, how to exercise their skill in educated guessing, how to perfect their skill in exacting precise formulations. More immediately ascertained is the piazza fountain, the water not spouting youthfully. Just the same, the gaze spurts upwards. Columns are visible at full length in the background, upholding the entablature. The nondescript pediment does not reflect the opposing gable, unseen, that features colorful sculpted figures from Greek mythological civilization. Nevertheless, the sloping roof is adorned with ornamental charms. At the apex, a pair of gazelles standing boldly. Between them, a totem flourish. Griffins, perched at their acroterian post, pledge their loyalty to defend the diverse aesthetic collection located within the walls of the museum. The treasures on display for playful examination, for thorough, if not ethereal, contemplation. However, demanding more attention during this particular day is the overcast gray sky, which obscures the panoramic expanse as thunderclaps applaud the coming storm. At this decisive moment, meaning is not highly defined. The piazza is devoid of the passerby, for now, perhaps, but not forever. As the days fluctuate, the art scene will develop a more vivid view, contrasting differences in theory, practice, and performance, questioning beauty in the didactic mind of the beholder.